Hello everyone! Hello everyone! We are doing our second online trivia night. So thank you so much for joining us. If you are here from last time, welcome again. If you are new to the trivia, whether it be online or in person, uh, we do these trivias every Thursday. And especially now, we're doing this uh, in hopes of having something for people to do while uh, the world is how it is. So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is finding things to do at home and whatnot and still enjoying some life. Uh, and so today, we're going to be doing the 90s. The theme will be the 90s. I tried my best to uh, pick out as much trivia as I could that didn't just relate to movies and music, but... Uh, we shall see how it goes. So our trivia goes in two rounds. There's a question round, which will be standard questions that you will then answer. And we have a picture round. And I'll describe what the picture round is as we get to it, but we will flash by individual images, and you guys will have to guess what the thing is as we go by. Now, you guys are welcome to use pen and paper. There's no, like, winning and losing in this. This is just for your guys' fun and for us to gain a bit of a sense of community. But uh, if you guys don't have a pen and paper or don't want to kill a tree or anything, I don't know, we have a Google form. Uh, I posted it in the chat, and I also posted it on the Facebook page. So the Google form will allow you to answer each question individually, and you'll actually be able to see other people's responses at the end, which could be kind of fun. So... Um, without further ado, I believe I've done all of the things that I need to do. Um, I'll give everybody just a touch of time to get themselves settled and uh, looking up the Google form if they would like while I get myself ready. By the way, you may see me occasionally sipping on a beverage because Lori and John, the owners of Funny Bones, are incredibly nice and gave my partner and I a nice little hair package which included some fun things. <laughs> All right. So, we are going to start with round one of the trivia. All right. We are starting. Question one. What was the name of the butler on the TV show the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. What was the name of the butler on the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? What's kind of fun about all these 90s shows as I was researching them is that you can find a lot of these still like on Netflix and whatnot. It's kind of fun. So all these are super watchable, so you guys may have this stuff down. Question two. What was the first book in R.L. Stein's Goosebumps series. What is the first book in R.L. Stein's Goosebumps series? I don't know if you guys have ever watched the Goosebumps TV show, but Ryan Gosling is in one of the episodes, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Question number three. Vanilla Ice's hit, Ice Ice Baby, samples what popular 80s song? Vanilla Ice's hit, Ice Ice Baby, samples what popular 80s song? Not much I can say about this one without giving anything away. <laughs> we have question number four. Before he became the charismatic actor he is today, this Samoan man was asking us if we could smell what he was cooking in the 90s. Who is the man? Before he became the charisma charismatic actor he is today, this Samoan man was asking us if we could smell what he was cooking in the 90s. I want to say it out loud so bad, but I, re I just really shouldn't. <laughs> Question number five. What handheld video game device did Nintendo release in the 90s? What handheld video game device 
did Nintendo release in the 90s? If any of you folks are gamers, you guys are probably playing Animal Crossing on the Switch right now. It's definitely my addiction right now. <laughs> Question number six. What was the Spice Girls' first single? What was the Spice Girls' first single? While you answer that question, think about what your Spice Girl name would be. I don't know what mine would be. Lanky Spice. That's mine. <laughs> question number seven. Who hosted The Tonight Show starting in 1992? Who hosted The Tonight Show starting in 1992? Question number eight. The band Nirvana formed in which U.S. city? The band Nirvana formed in which U.S. city? Had a million thoughts about which Nirvana question I should ask, but I felt like this was a good baseline one. Could have talked about like grunge style or something, but I don't know, it's hard to make questions for that. Question number nine. Which TV show is writer-director Joss Whedon's first featuring blood-sucking creatures? Which TV show is writer-director Joss Whedon's first featuring blood-sucking creatures? Joss Whedon, obviously... Moving on to big things after this. We have question 10. What collectible stuffed animal was so popular that when it was featured as a toy in a McDonald's Happy Meal, it caused riots? Which I think is wild. What collectible stuffed animal was so popular that when it was featured as a toy in a McDonald's Happy Meal, it caused riots? Question 11. Justin Timberlake was originally a part of what 90s boy band? Justin Timberlake was originally a part of what 90s boy band? Just imagining pictures of Justin Timberlake and, and Britney Spears in like the all like jean, denim, whatever, walking down the <laughs> runway. Question 12. Which Nickelodeon, which Nickelodeon sketch show featured sketches like Good Burger, Ask, Ash, Ask Ashley, and The Loud Librarian? Which Nickelodeon sketch show featured sketches like Good Burger, Ask Ashley, and The Loud Librarian? A lot of alliteration in those names makes it hard to say off the top of your tongue. Next we have question 13. East Coast versus West Coast hip hop rivalries ended in the death of which two popular rappers? You're gonna get a half point for each. East Coast versus West Coast hip-hop hip rivalries ended in the death of which two popular rappers? Gonna get a half point for each. I'm realizing that the screen is a little screwed up there. Let me fix that. That's a little better. I hopefully it's not too uh, short for right now.
<laughs> All right, next. And yeah, if you want to throw any any good hip hop songs from the '90s in there, I guess don't get don't give away anything, but post your favorites, I guess. We got question fourteen. The Macarena is sung in what language? The Macarena is sung in what language? And it's not just na 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 Macarena, na 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 Macarena. Hey Macarena, wah! We've got question fifteen. What '90s clothing acts, which? I think I did this wrong somehow. What 90s clothing acts like a skirt? That's it. Looks like a skirt, but functions like pants. What 90s clothing looks like a skirt, but functions like pants? Won't be able to fix that right now, but it doesn't matter. The question's already done at this point. We're moving on to question 16. Computers were thought to stop functioning in the year 2000, causing mass hysteria in the late 90s. What was the name of this computer bug? Computers were thought to stop functioning in the year 2000, causing mass hysteria in the late 90s. What was the name of this computer bug? When you look back at it, things like now probably seem a little scarier than that. But everything's relative, I suppose. We've got question 17. What movie followed a group of baseball-loving kids? What movie followed a group of baseball-loving kids? There's a particular character in this movie that may or may not have played Darth Vader at a time. Just to give you a hint, I don't, know, I don't know. We're moving on to question 18. Polly Pockets were a miniature playset designed for young girls. A similar toy designed for young boys was what? Polly Pockets were a miniature playset designed for young girls. A similar toy designed for young boys was what? I never had this toy as a kid, but I did have a Pokemon version of it, which was fun. If you guys have any other cool, like, 90s toys or anything that you guys played with, it's always fun to talk about. For me, everything was just Pokemon in the 90s. That, like, just the, completely, like, encapsulated my whole life. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on to 19. In the Disney show, Goof Troop, what is the name of Pete's dog? In the Disney show, Goof Troop, what is the name of Pete's dog? This one's kind of for me, because on Disney Plus I've been watching a bunch of Goof Troop. Which has an amazing theme song, in my opinion. I absolutely love the Goof Troop. Actually, all of the Disney shows at that time. The DuckTales one had a great one. That era of Disney had really good themes. We're moving on to our final question. What artist was banned from MTV for a racy music video? Featuring multiple partner hookups. What artist was banned from MTV for a racy music video featuring multiple partner hookups? Again, maybe not so racy by today's standards, but who knows? I don't know. Everything's relative. So I'm going to read those through one last time while they're up on the screen and then we'll resolve them but you can see them as they are there so question number one 
What was the name of the butler on the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? 2. What is the first book in R. L. Stein's Goosebump series? 3. Vanilla Ice's hit Ice Ice Baby samples what popular 80s song? 4. Before he became the charismatic actor he is today, this Samoan man was asking us if we could smell what he was cooking in the 90s. 5. What handheld video game device did Nintendo release in the 90s? 6. What was the Spice Girls' first single? 7. Who hosted The Tonight Show starting in 1992? 8. The band Nirvana formed in which U.S. city? 9. Which TV show is writer-director Joss Whedon's first, featuring blood-sucking creatures? 10. What collectible stuffed animal was so popular that when it was featured as a toy in McDonald's Happy Meals, it caused riots? 11. Justin Timberlake was originally a part of what 90s boy band? 12. Which Nickelodeon sketch show featured sketches like Good Burger, Ask Ashley, and The Loud Librarian? 13. East Coast versus West Coast hip-hop rivalries ended in the death of which two popular rappers? 14. The Macarena is sung in what language? 15. What 90s clothing looks like a skirt but functions like pants? 16. Computers were thought to stop functioning in the year 2000, causing mass hysteria in the late 90s. What was the name of this computer bug? 17. What movie followed a group of baseball-loving kids? 18. Polly Pockets were a miniature playset designed for young girls. A similar toy designed for young boys was what? 19. In the Disney show Goof Troop, what is the name of Pete's dog? And 20, what artist was banned from MTV for a racy music video featuring multiple partner lookup? Those are all the questions. I'm gonna give you guys like a little bit more time so that you guys can take a look at those, confer maybe with people that you have in the room, and then we will go over the answers for all of these questions. And uh, feel free afterwards to share your score with people if you are comfortable with doing so, because uh, that could be a lot of fun. Maybe what questions gave you some trouble, what ones you were like, man, this is I was born to answer that particular question. <laughs> I'm just looking at your guys' Spice Girl stuff. I like Quarantine Spice. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. So, we are going to move on to the answers. So, we're going to start with question one. Jeffrey was the name of the butler in the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Welcome to the Dead House. Welcome to Dead House is the first book in R.L. Stein's Goosebump series. Honestly, I don't know if I read that one. Three, Vanilla Ice's hit "Ice Ice Baby" samples "Under Pressure" by Queen and David Bowie. Question four. Before he became the charismatic actor he is today, it was The Rock who was asking us if we could smell what The Rock is cooking. Love that as a kid. Absolutely love that. Question five. Nintendo released the Game Boy in the 90s. 
Question six. Wanna be was Spice Girls first single. Might be an obvious one, might not be. Seven, it was Jay Leno that hosted The Tonight Show starting in 92. Eight, the band Nirvana was formed in Seattle. Nine, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was Joss Whedon's first TV show. 10. Beanie Babies were the riot creating toys. 11. Justin Timberlake was originally a part of NSYNC. I added that question solely because you ask people and you think it's pretty obvious, but everybody likes to 50 50 it. They'll go Backstreet Boys or they'll go NSYNC. Like, I've, I've definitely heard a fair amount of both. 12. Oh, what happened to 12? Hmm. Something was wrong in my formatting. Let me just confirm that that is supposed to be 12. No, okay, so uh, in 12, the Nickelodeon sketch show uh, that featured sketches like Good Burger, Ask Ashley, and The Loud Librarian is all that. All that is the name of the place. Don't know why it screwed up like that. But alas, there's nothing I can do about it. So all that is the answer to question 12, to make sure that is clear. Uh, the answer to 13 is Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. for the tragic deaths of the East Coast, West Coast hip-hop rivalry. You're going to get one point, or a half point, sorry, for each one. 14, the Macarena is sung traditionally in Spanish. Something I did not know prior to this. I think there are English versions. I can't imagine they're very good. Oh, there's all that. It appeared later for some reason. Uh, 15, it is scants that look like a skirt but function like pants. Very creative naming. It is a scant. 17, for some reason that's the one that's popping up. There we go, 16. Uh, computers were thought to stop functioning in the year 2000, causing mass hysteria in the late 90s called Y2K, or the year 2000 problem. Either one, in my heart, I would accept. Uh, why does it got Dorothy's surname in The Wizard of Oz? That's not it, that's from last week's. Uh, so, oh shoot. Sorry guys, one moment. For question 17, uh, the movie of baseball-loving kids is Sandlot. Sandlot is the movie that follows a group of baseball-loving kids, and they've got that neighbor with the big mean dog, and James Earl Jones plays the neighbor. Don't know how I didn't catch that. So then we've got 18, Mighty Max was the name of the miniature playset designed for young boys, the counter to Polly Pockets. 19, in Goof Troop, Pete's dog is named Chainsaw, which is a great name. Goofy's cat is named Waffles, by the way. It's great. And 20, it was Madonna who was banned for a racy music video from MTV which I think she called out for being pretty hypocritical because there's just tons of racy things on MTV. So those are the answers. Um, I shall read them one last time in a shorter one. So question one, the answer is Jeffrey. Question two is Welcome to Dead House. Three is Under Pressure. Four is The Rock. Five is a Game Boy. Six is Wannabe. Seven is Jay Leno. Eight is Seattle. Nine is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ten is Beanie Babies. Eleven is In Sync. Twelve is All That. Thirteen is Tupac and Notorious B.I.G., Biggie, whatever you want to call it. Fourteen is Spanish. Fifteen is Scants. Sixteen is Y2K or Year 2000 Problem. Seventeen is Sandlot. Eighteen is Mighty Max. 19 is Chainsaw, and 20 is Madonna. 
So with that, we're going to move on to our next round, the picture round. So these pictures are going to be pictures of 90s movies posters with the title removed. So you're going to have to guess what the movie is based on just the movie poster with no title. And uh, if you like these photos, uh, moviemania.com is where I got them, and they're full of it. They're, they're great for like iPhone like uh, lock screens and stuff like that. So let's move on to the first one. Starting with number one. And I numbered them this time so that everybody can make sure that they know what's going on. Here we've got number two. We have number three. Personal favorite of mine, this one. Probably one of the best endings in cinema, if you ask me. Four. Also, a thing I noted with all of these, uh, 90s really liked completely white backgrounds for movies. I had to keep adding borders to all the posters. We've got five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This one might be a hard one. Ten. Again, white background. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, another personal favorite of mine. Sixteen. If you guys are concerned, we will we'll go through them again, don't you worry. And I'll go through them slower. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Alright. So, I'm going to go through these all again. Slower.
Okay. So I'm being asked to speed up a bit. Call numbers. And... Okay, so seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. This one might be a hard one. I don't know. I was, I was thinking about this one. I was not aware of this movie until I was introduced to it, so I'm not entirely sure. Eighteen. Nineteen. And we have one. So, that was all of them. I think you guys have had a bit of time. So I think we can get right in to the answers. So, starting back up from number one. Like I said before, feel free to share uh, your score at the end. Everybody likes to hear that, I think. So number one, we're starting with Jerry Maguire. This is the show me the money. Number two, we have four weddings and a funeral. Four weddings and a funeral. Three, we have Fargo. Three is Fargo. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Four, is there something about Mary? There's something about Mary. Five, we have Point Break. Question five is point break. Number six, we have Goodfellas. Six, we have 
good fellas. Am I funny like a clown? Number seven, we have Shakespeare in love. We have Shakespeare in love. Eight, hopefully it didn't totally get like spoiled by the six on the screen. It's the sixth sense. The sixth sense. Then we have nine. A hard one, I think. Princess Mononoke. This is Princess Mononoke. If you don't know what Princess Mononoke is, Studio Ghibli is a Japanese animation company that's kind of like their Disney. And a lot of their films are kind of popular uh, in Western culture as well. So this is one of them particularly. Uh, Princess Mononoke. Ten. We have Pretty Woman. Question 10 is Pretty Woman. Then we have Edward Scissorhands. Question 11, Edward Scissorhands, which is a very beautiful movie. Next for question 12, we have Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The other Terminator, the first one was in the 80s. This one was right at the start of the 90s. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. 13, we have Silence of the Lambs. Ate his heart with fava beans and a nice Chianti. And then... 13 is Silence of the Lambs. 14 is Groundhog Day. 14 is Groundhog Day. 15. Might be a little hard from the poster. It's Scream. 15 is Scream. A great horror movie. For 16, with the late Robin Williams, we have Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. 16 is Goodwill Hunting. For 17, we have another horror thriller, I guess you can call it. 17 is Fear. Number 17 is Fear. Number 18 is 10 Things I Hate About You. 18 is 10 Things I Hate About You. 19 is a Bond flick. For 19, we have Tomorrow Never Dies. For 19, we have Tomorrow Never Dies. I think, I think this is the one that Madonna did the Bond theme. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a great Bond theme. And 20, we have Boys Don't Cry. Number 20, we have Boys Don't Cry. I just want to laugh for, to myself for a sec because my partner is in the other room and she's doing the trivia and she's I can just heard her go, oh man! which I think is funny. All right, I'm going to go through those from the beginning quicker with all of the answers in case you guys missed any. Number one here, we have Jerry Maguire. Number two, we have four weddings and a funeral. Three, we have Fargo. Four, we have There's Something About Mary. Five, we have Point Break. Six, we have Goodfellas. Seven, we have Shakespeare in Love. Eight, we have The Sixth Sense. Nine, Princess Mononoke. Ten, Pretty Woman. Eleven, Edward Scissorhands. Twelve, T2 Judgment Day, or Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Thirteen, Silence of the Lambs. Fourteen, Groundhog Day. Fifteen, Scream. 
16, Goodwill Hunting. 17, Fear. 18, 10 Things I Hate About You. 19, Tomorrow Never Dies. And 20, Boys Don't Cry. So definitely share what answers you have got. Always love to hear them. <laughs> Worked in a video star in the 90s. <laughs> that's, uh, that's okay. Now you were not able to get them. So, that is it for our second of hopefully many, not hopefully, hopefully we get to do them in an actual store, but of many of our trivia night. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And um, the next week we're going to have just general pub trivia for the theme. So Thursday on the 2nd of April will be the day. We will have yet another um, day. And make sure that if you're on the Google form, check out the responses. It's a lot of fun to go through and see what people uh, had said. So otherwise, that is it for me, guys. Um, stay safe. And I hope you guys all have a good night. See you later, guys. Uh, hey guys, uh, I, I see in the chat that there's some talk about maybe um, doing this twice a week. Uh, so just in case if, if people are still on the stream uh, and not like looking at the chat, I just wanted to pose to you guys um, if we were to potentially do this um, twice a week. I don't know what day it would be, but uh, if there is interest, um, please like message the Funny Bones Facebook uh, or say in the chat that you guys are interested. Um, yeah. And uh, feel free, John uh, and Lori are in the chat. So if you guys um, are have any questions about like Funny Bones and what they're able to offer and stuff like that, uh, please ask. Uh, they'll be there. Okay, for me, one last time, signing off. Sorry, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>